Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A week or so ago, I did a video demonstrating how to use No Noise AI as a plugin in On One Photo Raw 2021. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. In that video, I mentioned that a huge advantage of using No Noise AI as a plugin with On One Photo Raw is that you could keep the raw format throughout the entire process, meaning you start out with a raw file in On One Photo Raw 2021, send that raw file to No Noise AI, and you'll get another raw file back. So you're going to keep that entire raw process. The thing is, when I did it in that video, I had this image, and there's a lot of noise in it. It's a raw file. I sent it into No Noise AI, removed the noise, got it back into On One Photo Raw, and I got an image back that was considerably darker. Now, I mentioned in that video that I was going to file a bug report with On One about this issue. I actually never did. Between then and now, On One has issued an update for No Noise AI and an update for On One Photo Raw 2021. So in this video, we're going to take the same exact raw file, we're going to send it over into No Noise AI, and we're going to see if they fixed this problem. All right, so I have the raw file, right? To get an image from On One Photo Raw into No Noise, what you have to be, you have to be in the Browse module. It doesn't matter if you're in the grid view or if you hit the E key on your keyboard and you're in the loop view, as long as you're in the browse module, right click on the image, go down to send to. If you've never sent an image to No Noise AI uh, from On One in the past, you won't have this menu item there and you're going to have to watch that other video I demonstrate how to get it in there. So right there, because I've done it before, it is there, so I'm going to click on it. Now we have the option to send a copy. If you send a copy, it won't be a RAW file. It's either a Photoshop file, a TIFF file, or a JPEG. We want to send the original RAW file. So we're going to click right here. It grays everything else out, and then we'll click at it. So what it will do is it will take this RAW file and send it into No Noise AI. And I'm just going to take the default settings, whatever it comes up with on auto over here. It's saying this photo has been edited with another version on one. That's because I've updated on one. Uh, since I've sent this image to No Noise AI before. Okay, so just click OK is what we're getting at. Let's do its thing. Right, and then we have the noisy image, the no noise image, the noisy image, the no noisy image. And you can see it does, it did a great job. Like right in here, there's a ton of noise in front of that monitor. And you can see that it took it all away. All right, so I mentioned we're just going to take the auto settings and we're going to click done. Once I do that, it's going to ask me, what do you want to save it as? I want to save it as a DNG file. That's a raw file. You can see you could save it as a, a number of different file types. I'm going to stay with raw. So I'm staying with the DNG. And since um, I already have a file in that folder with the same exact file name, because I did this last week, I'm just going to hit dash two. I'm going to add dash two to it. All right. So it's going to be saved next to the original one that I did last week and the original raw file. And we're going to click save. And it will do its thing. And one quirk about No Noise AI when you use it as a plugin, it doesn't close. So I'm going to have to close this down myself. All right. Now let's go to grid view for a second. This is the original um, on one file right here. Okay. This is the one we did last week, and this is the one we did today. Already in the thumbnail view, it, it looks like it's better, right? So let's go back to the original RAW file. I'm going to go to loop view again. So hit the E key. So here is the original RAW file. And again, there's a lot of noise in this. Now we'll go to the one I did last week. That's the one that's really dark. And then the one I did today. And you can see they fixed it. So there's uh, no noise. AI as it stands today. There it was as it was last week, and there's the original RAW file. So they definitely did fix it. Uh, kudos to them. Um, again, I didn't file a bug report, so I'm not taking any credit for this at all. They, they did this on their own, or the, maybe they saw uh, other people, or they got bug reports from other people complaining about it. Uh, but definitely fixed it, so that's good. Because No Noise AI is a really, really nice application, and it allows you 
to stay with that raw format uh, quite often. And again, you, you usually want to tr try to stay or try to preserve the raw format as far into your workflow as possible. And this is a huge advantage uh, to no noise AI uh, when it comes to that subject. That's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.